Hi, Jeff Cote here with Pacific Yacht Systems. We've got a question from a fellow boarder for our Ask PYS series. Hi, Jeff. Are you able to talk about lithium batteries for boats? Okay, so lithium is definitely a choice when you're considering a battery chemistry for your boat, right? For the most part, you know, we're talking about lead acid batteries, either flooded, AGM, foam core AGM, which is Firefly, and then the other big player, and there's other ones, is lithium. So lithium is, I think, ideal for boaters that have that are looking for the following. One, weight is an issue. If your boat has considerations for weight and you are, for whatever reason, you want to be lighter, you're having issues where the batteries are for listing, and you want to have more energy density per given weight, lithium is definitely a strong contender. Second, um, the other thing is also space, right? Some boat owners do not have as much place to mount batteries as they would like and they're limited in that location and they want more usable amp hour capacity in a given location if that's a really big requirement then yeah you're gonna have to or you're gonna strongly be considering a lithium battery bank because again like weight you're gonna have more energy density for lithium than a conventional uh, lead acid battery either being flooded AGM or foam based core AGM so those are two issues now, the consideration is also cost. Lithium is gonna come at a much higher price point and there are merits to that because they provide deeper or more usable battery capacity from pretty much 100 to 20% of capacity. So that's 80% of the battery is readily usable versus 35 for flooded, about 50 for AGM and 65 for Firefly. So more usable battery capacity for lithium. Now all these things are win, win, win. Why does not everyone go with lithium? Two reasons. One, cost. Be ready to break the bank. Uh, lithium batteries are gonna be multiples of a f conventional flooded lead acid battery. But remember, you're getting a lot more, so it's okay to pay more for that battery. But realistically, the second limitation is probably the biggest one. And it is that actually putting lithium on a boat means that there's certain applications about related to the BMS, which is the battery monitor system that's on the battery or external to the battery, so that you don't have situations of overcharging and that you don't have a situation where the battery disconnects itself from the boat. High-end manufacturers of, fire, of basically lithium batteries are going to have both load and charging circuits on that battery. So they'll be able to disconnect the charging circuit, but still have the loads connected. Those BMSs cost more money. They're, they're better, but more complicated. And people that are putting in drop-in replacement for lithium simply have one positive post on that battery. That means that if ever the battery needs to protect itself from overcharging, an alternator charging the battery at too high of a voltage, what's gonna happen is you're actually gonna lose the whole battery. Meaning, not only are you going to lose its ability to charge, but you're also going to lose its ability to run loads. And I've had that happen on a few instances this summer where boaters had lithium batteries installed on their boats, and it literally, while sailing, because they had an overcharging of the battery, they lost the whole battery bank. So drop-in replacement for lithium have nice price points, but they also come with considerations. So do your homework. Lithium is not for everyone but it's certainly a very good choice for the people that really require it. A, weight, space, or energy density, and also the number of cycles. If you're gonna go out and you're gonna be using your boat every day and you're offshore cruising for the next five or 10 years, then certainly the benefits of lithium are worth exploring. But like, remember, nothing is easy on a boat and do your homework with lithium. Thanks for watching this video. If you've got further questions that we didn't answer, please ask them below or go on our website and fill out one of the forms and we'll get a chance to do so. Support us to keep this channel ad free by donating via PayPal or buying one of these lovely hats. The links are below. And lastly, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so that way you'll get the regular content. And in closing, thanks for watching.